Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Wednesday, April 3rd, 2024. Just a reminder, we will have our live chat tonight at 8 p.m. So we'll have plenty to talk about with this storm that is evolving. This morning, we have that easterly wind continuing that is con setting up the potential for some coastal flooding because of the persistent easterly wind at 10 to 20 miles per hour. We have waves of rainfall that has already produced areas of urban flooding and some small stream flooding and will continue to do so as we move on through today as waves of rainfall continue to move through. Temperatures this morning range from the lower to mid 40s over the northern interior, mid to upper 40s along the coast. Temperatures aren't going to be moving all that much for much of the New York City metro and over the interior, but around Philadelphia, if we can get that warm front to push through, we could actually touch 60 degrees in a few locations. We can take a look at our surface map and radar, you can see from weather tap, of course, you can see the waves of rainfall coming through. We had some heavier rainfall moving through much of the region earlier this morning. That's now starting to lift into New England. We even had a few embedded elevated thunderstorms producing some rumbling of thunder. Don't be surprised if we continue to hear that throughout the day today as some of the embedded thunderstorms within this rain shield lifts through the region. So right now we're getting a little bit of a break around the Philadelphia metro and central New Jersey that will continue to lift up towards New York. And within that break, you basically have overcast skies and drizzle. Then you get your next wave of rainfall. And then the next wave of rainfall here is starting to set up. Meanwhile, this area right here, this is what we call a triple point. It's the clash between the maritime air that is over us, the tropical air that is surging northward that's actually up into new england at the mid levels which is why we're seeing those elevated thunderstorms and the polar air behind this storm that is surging through the ohio river valley this triple point will set up a new low pressure system that will move through pennsylvania and new jersey today and redevelop off the new jersey coast and south of long island by tonight and this will become the new storm so we'll watch that live uh, in tonight's live chat where the new coastal storm starts to take hold and that's going to introduce more rainfall for the region for tonight into tomorrow morning and possibly even yes cold air mixing in supporting some development of snowfall over much of the northern interior of new england and a few flakes here and there around the Poconos, Catskills, and the Hudson Highlands. Not expecting much in the way of accumulation, but watch out for those slick roads tomorrow morning. You can see this whole storm starting to organize and taking shape here on the infrared satellite picture. Again, your cold cloud tops are focused over the mid-Atlantic, where we're seeing a lot of lifting. There is our upper level low. Let's take a look at the upper level winds because I think this really details exactly what is happening with this whole pattern. Why are we seeing this storm? Because we got this block here between the polar jet stream and the subtropical jet stream, subtropical jet stream providing all the moisture. This is our polar short wave. It cannot lift up into New England and towards the St. Lawrence River Valley because of this block here. So it has to get forced through the mid-atlantic and towards the new england coastal waters because it cannot exit northward so it exits eastward and the reason why it has to exit eastward is because of this active pacific pattern that is about to slam into the west coast so it's a bit convoluted right now but all of it is going to get shifted out and we will see sunshine again trust me it's just going to take a little bit of time to get this upper level low kicked out of here over the next couple of days. So we're going to continue to deal with pesky showers even after this storm passes through tomorrow morning. So let's dive into the forecast for today. Waves of rainfall. There's our new secondary low pressure starting to organize. Temperatures will range from the lower to mid 40s over the northern interior. Mid to upper 40s around the New York City metro. And then the Philadelphia metro will range from the upper 40s to lower 60s, depending on the location of this warm front. So let's say central New Jersey, let's say Heightstown, Freehold, you're stuck around 48, 49 with driving rain. As you drive down towards Philadelphia, you start to warm up into the 50s. And then as you push into southwest New Jersey, let's say around Millsville, that is where you could touch 60, 61 degrees as that warm air tries to surge northward. So there's going to be a heck of a gradient setting up here 
uh, over southern New Jersey and the Philadelphia metro because of that warm front. And again, there will be that chance for embedded thunderstorms. The low pressure system will move over the region and head towards the coastal borders tonight, intensifying rapidly to the south of Long Island, but waves of rainfall continuing. Cold air will start to get pulled in from New England down into the interior, opening up the potential for a little bit of rain snow mix for, let's say, northern Connecticut, the Hudson River Valley, northwest New Jersey, the Poconos in, North in northeastern Pennsylvania. These locations, again, I'm not expecting much in the way of accumulation unless you're on the highest elevations possible in these locations. Uh, let's say around 2,000 feet, that's where you could actually get some snow accumulation, possibly one, two, three inches of snow on cold surfaces. Temperatures will fall off into the lower to mid 30s over the northern interior, mid to upper 30s along the coast. The storm will start to leave tomorrow afternoon with scattered to broken cloud cover and scattered showers hanging around the region. Look for high temperatures in the mid to upper 30s over the northern interior, lower to mid 40s around the New York City metro, and upper 40s to lower 50s in the Philadelphia metro. On Friday, that upper level low is hanging around the region, so it's going to keep variable cloud cover in place with scattered showers. Look for low temperatures ranging from the upper 20s to lower 30s over the northern interior, mid 30s along the coast. High temperatures ranging from the mid to upper 30s over the northern interior, lower to mid 40s in the New York City metro, mid to upper 40s in the Philadelphia metro. On Saturday, the upper level low is still hanging around and still going to be producing variable cloud cover and isolated showers temperatures will range from the lower to mid 30s over the northern interior mid to upper 30s along the coast high temperatures will range from the lower to mid 40s over the northern interior upper 40s to lower 50s along the coast on sunday high pressure finally takes control with clear skies although a bit chilly with low temperatures ranging from the lower to mid 20s over the higher elevations upper 20s to lower 30s over the rest of the interior and mid to upper 30s along the coast high temperatures will range from the upper 40s to lower 50s over the northern interior mid to upper 50s in the new york city metro and upper 50s to lower 60s in the philadelphia metro on tuesday Hi, should I say on one on Monday? Pardon me. A uh, sky cloud cover is expected with a passing shower. Now this is when we're going to be dealing with the whole solar eclipse, right around the Ohio River Valley to the Eastern Great Lakes is where you're going to have the most influence of this solar eclipse. And right now it does not look good for the Eastern Great Lakes with variable or broken cloud cover. I have more on this in the premium dashboard for premium members, so definitely check that out. Around our neck of the woods, sky cloud cover could be an isolated shower. Look for temperatures to range from the upper 20s to lower 30s over the northern interior, lower to mid 30s along the coast. High temperatures in the upper 50s to lower 60s over the northern interior, lower to mid 60s along the coast. So there's our warmer conditions starting to return. On Tuesday, high pressure is in place with clear skies and low temperatures ranging from the mid to upper 30s over the northern interior upper 30s to lower 40s along the coast high temperatures in the lower to mid 60s over the northern interior mid to upper 60s along the coast and on wednesday high pressure remains in control with tranquil conditions expected look for low temperatures in the mid to upper 30s and high temperatures ranging from the lower to mid 60s along the immediate coast mid to upper 60s over the interior and upper 60s to lower 70s in the delaware river valley that's your forecast discussion for today have a wonderful day and as always stay safe out there